Let's see. And uh, <laughs> they're being told something here. Yeah. Um, I'm absolutely loving uh the ring here. That is an absolutely <laughs> crazy set. I think more places need to do a, a ring because that's so cool. It's dope. Well, definitely a lot more fun than the sta uh, like a regular stage. I got to be up there really yeah. briefly. But I wish that was me. I'm, I'm hoping I can maybe get up there for Guilty Gear XR. I'm a little better at that game. Got you. I mean, you know, we got two days, two-day event. And, uh, <laughs> of course, XR is tomorrow. So is Vampire yeah. Savior. Uh, Vampire Savior is being run on uh, hardware emulators. Mr. Yeah. FPGA. Okay. Not the new Capcom release. Into no. Got you. D Mister. Mister. Yeah, b is going to be on Mister. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the setups upstairs. They already have a few here. Okay, I haven't been able to check out like the casual area upstairs. So. It's not very big, and some of the games are like locked. It's a little janky, but it's not that bad. Sure, you know, a little bit cozy. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> All right, so we got Gato, Joe, and Benny. Uh, strong They're characters. picking a bunch of top tiers. Yeah, definitely yeah. strong. Well, well, high tiers. These aren't top tiers here. Yeah. Just a team of only high tiers. <laughs> Benny it's like he looked pack. at the ratio tier list and picked, you know, maybe he'll get like the top two fourths, <laughs> you know? No shame in it. Play to win, play to win. So let's see. Gato versus Geese to lead it off. He really likes doing this uh, stagger pressure with Geese, which I think is one of his strongest suits in this game. He's pretty odd, in my opinion. Interesting. Doesn't seem like the strongest version of Geese uh, that's been in KOF. But nah, nah. I think the strongest one he's ever had is like KOF 98 uh, Nightmare Geese. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. The UM version. Yeah. And Gato here. You'll see Gato do a lot of mids, and I think Ooh. Maldabon is going to look out to call those. But look at James Jr. going for that command grab. Yeah. Yeah, Gato getting in here early. Yeah, that jump CD is so strong from Gato. It just pushes you out, and it's active forever. Yeah. Pressure's on. Guard meter, too. And that DP, it's it goes really far. You'd be shocked. It just sucks you in. <laughs> All right, yep. He closes it with a throw. Clean. It's one of those things where you got to think, well, how do, I, how do I kill him? I just need one hit. Come on. Yeah. Now let's see if we can establish a bit more space with Rugal. A bit more zoning tools. Rugal has some more zoning tools, but you'd be surprised. He's kind of weird in this game. He, he zones more with his normals than his projectiles. <laughs> Unfortunately, Gato's just really hard to zone. Yeah, he's getting just about everything he wants right now. He's got that demon flip. He's got that crazy damage. That was like that was like a bar and a half, <laughs> and he still built back a third. Yeah. That was a really good jump out there. Yeah, he's really just been able to, uh, his positioning has been so good. Maldabon hasn't really been able to get, uh, like, clean hits or clean pressure on him at all. It's a matter of you need to not let them in in the first place, I think. Yeah. You know, the classic <laughs> top tier answer, just don't be there in the first place, you know? Yeah. So here's Leona with lots of work to do. Yeah, it's, uh, he really likes using those earrings. Those earrings are a very strong tool because it's so active. That's definitely one of my favorite things uh, that she got in 15. And that, that 5 CD is very strong because it pulls her hitbox back. That was a whiff DP. Incredibly unfortunate. He's working on this OCV right now. Gato's got the damage for it. Yeah. That, that probably could have been like, they could probably be on like a 10th health right now. That's. Yeah. I'd like to see some harder punishes from Aldebon. He did have, you know, these are his first opportunities. <laughs> Pots just so hard to deal with. That uh, low profiles, too. Yeah, exactly. Right under the fireball. So game one is an OCV for James Jr. And he's going to go with same order, it looks like. Well, I think I think I was the one who made him switch order there because I started switching <laughs> my order. He's like, hmm, I better, I better counterpick that. Got you. Either way, he's got a very shockingly strong, like, anti-you anti game. He wants to play anti-you. Oh. And unfortunately, Gato's just got really good buttons. That yeah. JB, it's active for like nine frames, which is crazy in this game. Yeah, he's going to have to find a way to rein in this Gato. He's going to get jumped all over. All right, a little more. Oh, no, with that Let's DP. Let's punish. There we go. Not much damage. Yeah. They missed the uh, super cancel, I believe. Yeah. It's rough. It's rough. But still good life lead. Ooh, very strong answer there. 
Maldabon just has to find answers for these jump-ins. Gato's getting all these demon flips off. He's getting all the regular jumps off. He needs to start blocking them out. That's what I'm saying. Anti-U. I want you to stop. Spend the bar. Yep. Fortunately, James Jr. is actually just staying very, very unpredictable. Mixing yeah. up his approaches, everything. Nice TP. Gato's got a very good dash break animation. I mean, this and is lower than he got out of the whole first game, so. Well, yeah, good on him, because he's actually learning the matchup a little here, I think. Exactly. Some adjustments being made. Omega Rukal's DP wow. is surprisingly not the best, so he's really got to hold it a lot of the time when you think he wouldn't have to. But he's got those good normals. He can snipe him out of the air way better. There we go. Jump CD. Right, so let's see what the Joe's got. Now, Joe in this game, he zones. But Maladabon has a great answer for that. Rugal's laser super is crazy. Looks like James is bringing it right to him, though. Okay, nice guard cancel. Good punish. He's got a good opportunity for pressure. Whips a 2C, unfortunately. That uh, that Sagat uh, eye laser is really, <laughs> really scary because you're forced to crouch under that if you don't want to have to block it. Yeah. James Joe's getting the better of these changes. Is crazy too. Ah, another throw. Now, in terms of what uh, James Jr. wants to look here, is they're just going to look for that repeating yeah, pressure, find the guard break, kill him. Absolutely. Altamon really getting cracked open by this jump pressure. Ready, I think Leona might work a little better in this matchup. She's got some projectiles that can block out those tornadoes. And that uh, earring goes over it, I believe. Okay. I'd be worried about a trade, you know, getting knocked down. But Good cross up here. There we go. Well, she going to level three, though. Cancel if it wants. Yep. yep. Is it enough, though? It'll kill. It'll go. All right. There you go. You underestimate the damage of climax, <laughs> I think. All right. Now Benny's got a full bar to work with. Benny's got that full stick of butter. Exactly. And he Ooh, hasn't found this go. matchup yet, Woo! either. You have to think about it. Maldabon hasn't fought this matchup yet, either. No Benny Maru has been seen yeah. yet. So this is going to be scary. Benny yeah. Maru has some really scary looping pressure. He can just go for your guard bar if he wants. And at this point, the next hit could kill. Ooh, this he's got yeah, a punch. That, sorry. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. That's yeah. one of the fastest climaxes in the game, and it goes full screen. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you cannot flinch full screen yeah, against Benny Maru. There will Benny be no Maru. neutral. Yeah. There will be no neutral. <laughs> just don't yeah, flinch. Don't. Don't do it. Man, well, good stuff from James Jr. Got the OCV the first game, and then, yeah, clutched it out with the Benny. James Jr. is looking really strong. I, I love that uh, the Benny Maru Climax punish. It's the best way to close out a game, in my opinion. Oh, your opponent <laughs> thinks they can move? They can, they can use projectiles from full screen. No way. I think it's something like nine frames. It's crazy oh, fast. Oh, wow. Okay. That is, that is impressive. I'm definitely used to seeing him more on point. Uh, oh, he's he's great on anchor and, and even middle, too. Definitely. He's got ways to cash out, so we saw it there. <laughs> I love seeing it. Um, either way. Good stuff to Maldivon too. Yeah. I really like his team. It's really, I think, I think almost innovative in a way. Like the ability to just stop the opponent from playing the way they want to <laughs> is not a bad plan, honestly. Word and definitely some good adjustments after the first game. Uh, it was the God it was tough, but came back and got through most of the team. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, uh, I. I love to see that Gato just going for demon flips, infinite pressure. It does not stop. I feel that, and yeah. Also building lots of bar for the rest yeah. of the squad. So right now we've got uh, Yuba versus Branwin coming up. It is All winners right. round two still. Cool. They're gonna be playing their winners round two match coming up here on the stage. <laughs> I think we're getting the name straight. <laughs> yeah, they're probably switching it. Gotcha. I love seeing all the uh, all the different controllers. My favorite thing about going out to these events is seeing everybody's different controllers, you know, <laughs> checking them out. But you see them, they just got their dual shocks. Oh yeah, they got the classics. Let's go. <laughs> I, I can't hate on the classics, all right? Dual shock war.
Sync, synchronize. Never forget to turn off the pads, folks. Make sure to delete <laughs> the pads whenever you get up there too. If you if you get your if you get someone crawls in your match, it's your own fault. All right. Yeah. It's not my fault. They the pad players they can't actually desynchronize their pads unless they pair it to something else. So like you can actually technically pair it to your phone. That does work. But it's a huge pain because you're gonna connect to some random PS4 somewhere. Exactly. You don't know which PS4 you're gonna connect to. And I think there is a PlayStation setting now that you can set controllers to use to like prioritize USB and stuff. There we uh, go. I wonder still. who we're seeing now. Oh uh, yeah. And show us a battle worthy of I think Yuba here, Yuba, to me, looks like they would play some top tiers, all right. <laughs> you know what? People complain about them all the time nowadays. Cronin, stuff like that. I actually like these top tiers. They're all right. Yeah, Cronin, They're better than Jenny. seeing Nameless, you know? <laughs> I mean, maybe it's the same character. Than, uh, Ooh. Pretty accurate so far. Pretty accurate. Oh, I like the Iori. I like the Terry. I like the playing the KOF main yeah. characters. Protagonist oh, team. Team protagonist. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, and Yori in front makes Elizabeth Shermie. I love seeing Shermie, actually. Shermie is like a really good defensive character, and I, I just absolutely love to see that play where they just hang back, see what the opponent's going to do, react, punish. That's what you do <laughs> with Shermie. I mean, I'm just a fan of the grappler anchor, to be honest. I love it. <laughs> love seeing folks get tossed around. Oh, I'm so excited to see Yori. Iori is a bit weird in this game. They changed his like combo routing compared to 14 and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, everyone got their combo routing changed from 14 because they nerfed Max Mode, but no. yeah, it's strong different now. than it is in any <laughs> other game. What B, what uh, B Jeanette is looking here for is they're looking for an opportunity to set up clean Oki because her Oki is perfect. But Iori's not respecting Wake Up DP, the first knockdown. I like it. Takes the strongest neutral option. <laughs> Just hit him. All right. Sets up the overhead. Nice. Good overhead. Another DP. All right. No respect oh, at dead. all. This is, this is dead. Yeah, he's going to pay for that. See? <laughs> Absolutely a clean confirm there off of that punish. But, you know, trying to show he's not scared. Trying to show he's ready. <laughs> Listen, I think, I think it's the strongest option is showing your opponent you don't care what you're doing. All right? <laughs> You cannot backdash over that projectile. It's too tall. <laughs> oh, nice confirm off the jab. Light confirms. I like to see that. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, this he's waking up. Remember, bj has got that clean Oki. You I'm can't touch her. He spent both bars on that. That hurts. Oh. All right, all right. <laughs> Maybe too excited about the DP right now. <laughs> I mean, sometimes that's all you can think to do. It's true. Oh. Ooh. oh, what were we saying before about the pad thing? No, uh, who knows? No more sound. Yeah, it seems like they're going to run it. Oh, wow. Danny dive kick gets him. EX DP. Who, who connected a headset? What was that? Yeah, I don't know about that one. There might be a USB thing up there. Might be a Bluetooth say. headset yeah. or something. But Jenny doing work right now. Team Garou looking good today. Another OCV. <laughs> Bee Jeanette is just such a strong character. She can do perfect Okies. She can uh, bypass neutral in so many ways. She has that, that projectile that she can just sit on you while you're blocking. You know, like, in OGGs, do? it does everything. <laughs> I absolutely love to see it regardless because I think she's cool. Well, that, uh, that ability to redirect herself in the air. Oh, yeah. Sunuda. Round one. Right back into it. They do like that jump CD with Yori. And the 2C isn't a bad option either. This thing has a huge hitbox. Yeah, this has been all Yuba so Rambo far. And again, really another needs to look for other things. options to get out of that corner there. Yeah. Other reversal options, like maybe a 2A, might work a little bit better. Or waiting and rolling out of the jump pressure, but it seems like, you know, we're waking up with buttons and we're getting punished for it. Sometimes it just takes a little weight. You know? <laughs> now, Kyo, I think he's got a little better luck. I think this is a bit of a better matchup. So they can find things to actually make B. Jeanette block with. The problem is getting her in the range to block. She can bypass neutral in so many ways. You can't just whip against her. Yeah, ooh, uh, almost had the CD. That was a crazy right. cross up. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> no connection there. 
Yeah, Brandon just needs to find a way to get a little bit established in neutral. Well, they're finding it. It's Jump CD. Yeah, it's go. Jump CD, yeah. baby. <laughs> I love modern KOF. <laughs> Ooh. Couple fierce buttons, but no confirm. Oh, finally found that DP that he wanted so long ago. Just need to be able to wait a little bit. That need to be able to, willing to be willing to block. Yes. All right, looking By the for way, Brambo's getting way further in here. That's true, that's true. I'm thinking I'm thinking they could probably take B. Jeanette here because they probably put their most work into Terry. Terry does tons of damage in this game. True. Go. Got to avoid that double OCB for pride's sake. Let's do it. Nice. Oh, oh no. Well. That was it. That free C, too. Power don't so say bar here. Oh. oh, Terry. Gotta look for a safe. That was safe, but he kept pressing buttons. Ah, uh, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, it's upsetting. Good stuff to Yuba. Yuba with a double OCV, though. Yeah, Absolutely. That Jenny doing work. <laughs> no. I love to see strong players doing their work. That's amazing job from Yuba. Absolutely. You know. Not everybody expects to be up there on stage doing their thing, but you know, it's. I think it's the most fun on stream here <laughs> is the first few rounds because you never know what's going to happen. You'll see a team with Omega Rugal and Geese, followed <laughs> by someone playing team protagonist. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And when you get to the top rows, you know, maybe you get a few more boring characters. You get you get more boring stuff like you know, you get your Cronins, but I love seeing that. That's what I like to see. Absolutely, people who are still like, exploring and getting into the game. So, next up here, I believe, is Decimo Decimo versus Blue Star. I'm gonna go with Decimo. That Decimo sounds good. <laughs> and they're getting set right, down right. here. Decimo, fair. Got you. So, Decimo and Blue Star also winners round two. Early matches. I like his controller. He's got the all <laughs> yellow Obsidian here. <laughs> You see him sitting down behind us here. Oh, the Bumblebee colors. I like it. <laughs> I'm a fan. I can't even recognize this stick on the right. Uh, it also looks like it's got some custom, uh, you know, buttons and joystick action. <laughs> I like the. Uh, I like it when people put stickers on their stick. Personally, that's not my thing. <laughs> I like my stick with my clean art behind it, but I think the stickers is a good look. I prefer to put those on my PS4. Yeah, I, I'm definitely going to put it on the console or something like that. I'm a little too sweaty to put it on <laughs> the actual stick, being totally honest. You know, uh, as they're setting their buttons here, I think that uh, Deshimo probably has something special in store for us here. All I right. was actually talking to him earlier, and he said he's going to, like, s I, th I think it was a... Uh, I think they were going to switch something. I forgot what it was. Oh, okay. Tricky stuff. Let's go. <laughs> Got to save that for the regional, I guess. Let's see. Well, yeah. <laughs> Might as well do it while you're here. Got a Rio. Interesting. Oh, wait. I had the wrong guy. I think it's Blue Star. That's going to switch. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, they had to switch sides? Seems it. Yeah. Uh, one thing that... Uh, I, one thing I'm starting to appreciate a little bit about Guilty Gear Strive is the fact that you switch every time you go back to the character select screen to make sure oh, yeah. you're on the right side. Yes. <laughs> it's a little more convenient for tournaments, even though, you know, in long sets it gets a little annoying. Yeah. I definitely get you. Fighting <laughs> game menus, you know, they've gotten better over the years, just generally. So <laughs> Hit that button preview, get your buttons all set. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's More games need that, the button preview. Some games I feel like people still just want to go in and hit, you know, 30 seconds worth of combos. Another geese. Got another throw. geese. Yeah. Yes. Cooper we got the art of fighting. Oh, my. Right? On and hell? a hell bar. Okay. On hell? I love to see on hell. She's like my favorite character. She's not very good in this game, but she is my absolute favorite character to see. So here is a matchup I have not seen, which is, yeah. Angel and Halmar. I have not seen... Halmaru in tournament, really. Halmaru? Uh, yeah. I think he's definitely the best of the samurai characters. Okay. That's the thing I have to say about it. Best of the samurai characters. I, I want to see it. I want to see it. 
He's got some high damage. He's got some all right mix ups. He's got some good space control. This is such a, a weird matchup to put him to the test, too. Um, Hell's got to take a risk to get in against most characters, unfortunately. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. Making him whiff. Yeah, so all right. The blender is on. Let's go. There we go. You throw out those those uh, normals in front of a Samurai Showdown character, they can't really do much about it. Nice confirm from Blue Star, and just like that, take the lead back. Big old damage, yeah. Uh, yeah. Woo. DP punished. Angel's got to throw it in. Yeah. No problem. Dang, see a super at the end here? No, mix up, mix ups. That's nice. an overhead, I think. Oh, oh Miss <laughs> Doom! That's so sad! Going for it, though. I like it. You can feel the aggression right now. Yeah, on hell wants to be up in your face. <laughs> it's important, and that's why she struggles a little bit in this game. Not struggling here, though. On to Robert. Robert's got some real big normals. Another character that can keep on hell out Ooh, really well. Nice so cross crazy the people's cross elbows. So. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, she's working now. Got a little meter to cook with, too. Some overheads in there. Oh. Go for another cross up. I love it. This should be it. Oh, that's what, this character is so crazy. Non -stop. I love it. Let's go. And Blue Star was on stun for a second there, but they're a little low. I don't think it just happened. Yeah, slowing it down a bit. So good to Blue Star there. Yeah, there you go. And now another tricky character in Kukri. Kukuri has been going up on the tier list recently, despite the fact that he's only gotten nerfed in this game. Yeah. People are realizing he's better than he used to be. Just whiffing a Shatter Strike out there. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Losing a whole meter. Ooh, he actually beat that go. should be it for Robert. Oh, he's dead for sure. No yeah. way. Kukuri's not as safe as he used to be, but he's certainly got anti-zoning. He just throws his fireball, and they're faster than everyone else's. A lot of solid tools. Ooh, upper. Now, Rio is a character I know can dump damage, but. Oh, he absolutely can. Nice. I love seeing the character diversity early in here. It's awesome. Rio has some big normals that he should be throwing out here. Ooh. Couldn't get anything started, though. Nice yeah. stuff to Decking Mode. Looks like he just picked the wrong answer there in that uh, EX interaction there. Yeah. I would think he'd be throwing like a fireball or something. It probably was just a missed input, to be honest. <laughs> it's sad to see, but now I get to watch more on Hell. <laughs> exactly. I'm always happy to watch more on Hell. He's I love getting this into character. a rhythm there, too. So let's see if we can bring some of that to this uh, opening round here. Sometimes it takes a bit to, you know, get used to the opponent and see what they're going to block and uh, react to. Ooh, I love yeah. the cross-ups. There it is. Gets the hard knockdown. Cooking now. Puts him in the corner. Absolutely, yeah. Cook him, build that meter. Ooh, nice throw. The throw reset, too. Yeah. This could be stunned. Yep, and that, I guess, should be it for Hamar, yeah. So solid. That's yeah. a dead Hamaru. No damage perfect, taken. Yeah. Stunned in maybe three openings there. All right. That move that they used can go through fireball, so they were probably looking for it. Okay, Robert. Oh, no confirm. All right. Punish that Shatter Strike. Let's go. Are we playing Oh, no. Okay, cool. Nice. Spending the meter, trying to even things out. And he absolutely wants that on hell nice. out of there. On hell's too dangerous to keep alive. Champs go low. Just like that, we're even. He's looking over, a little <laughs> happy about it. That's fair. Kukri is definitely the character I, I would be scared of actually here, because those overheads are so fast. What are you gonna do about it? Those cross-ups. This this guy loves some cross-ups. I love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Ooh, tricky. Yeah, Blue Star does not look comfortable. He's just throwing out jump Ds and got punished for it. The OTG there. Keeps himself oh, safe. Okay. Lands one. Full punish. 
Yes, sir. Real strong call out there. Spent all their meter, though. Not much yeah. to use. But another hit could do it. Oh, if Robert dies here, it, that's no meter for your anchor. It. Yeah. Got two now. Okay. Ooh, good to see. It. Well, it was worth it after all. <laughs> all right. Actually seeing the geese now. Deshimo yeah. won the first round. So actually being able to see the geese now is awesome. Because you never know what this guy's going to throw out at this point. Ooh, that's uh, pretty that's rough. Yeah. Little whoopsie. Going to the next round. Yeah. Now we're getting anchor versus anchor. <laughs> Already and fighting two status. Let's go. Blue Star's <laughs> got a little more, a little more meter here. I think Blue Star is definitely in the advantage. I think he just tried to EXTP or EX Fireball there. Now they're about equal one meter. Yeah. Ooh, there's the geese. Confirm. Light confirms. Directly into whatever he wants. Next hit could do it. Yeah. He got those. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Good set, good set. All right. I got to get out of here. I got to play my KOF match. Understandable. This guy's taking over for me. <laughs> No. We're players before commentators. Got to take care of business. <laughs> so up next will be Mooney Blues and High May, and that'll be winners round three. Hey guys, Brightside. What's your name? How's it going? I haven't met you. Forte. Oh, nice to meet you, man. Same, same. <laughs> what did you say we have next? I heard Mooney and Mooney Blues and High May. Oh, two Chicago. Yes. <laughs> So we're getting deeper in the bracket. Definitely curious to see. Uh, we've had a pretty good range of characters, but uh, I expected to get more towards the top tiers as we get deeper in. Oh yeah, Mooney <laughs> is a dedicated Chizuru player, so excellent. He definitely plays top tiers. I believe he started using Kula also, so okay. he's playing well, win. Yeah. <laughs> he hasn't converted to Cronin yet, so got you. We'll give him this tournament. He'll probably switch over by the end of it. I mean, no exactly. Chizuru got a bunch of buffs, uh, I guess, mid-season, whatever you want to call it. It seems like she got uh Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, her CD got buffed a lot, so. Oh, oh Kizuru and Zendo? Okay. Oh, even better. The That's mix, the mix. Yep. <laughs> Kizuru and Zendo, uh, they pretty much play every weekly, so okay. this is going to be a familiar matchup between both of them. Excellent. Uh, Kizuru, a dedicated K player, and Zendo, uh, Mason Kun Kula. Okay. Got you. So sibling rivalries. Yep. Love to see it. <laughs> Pretty much play every single local, so you'll love to see it. Okay, cool. And that's another thing, like, watching training partners at tournaments like this is definitely a fun watch. Uh, they, they know each other's tendencies, and they really, like, Oh, yeah, it's definitely more player versus player rather than character matchups in these types of. Absolutely. I know K is kind of a polarizing character in this game, I think. People have felt like he's not as strong as 14, but I don't know that that means that he's bad. He has, like, some results and things. Uh, when he gets you cornered, he has a lot of block strings where he can force a lot of guard damage and kind of guard crush you in a lot of situations. So he's very much a big knowledge check character. If you're not aware of a lot of his pressure strings, he can just run you over with knowledge check. Got you. Um, well, with these two players knowing each other, I guess, you know, no, exactly. we'll, we'll see Zendo, that come into play. Zendo should be more familiar with the matchup. And oh, Chris. All right. Definitely oh, Chris, a character a lot of people don't see. Pretty much Cronin light. Uh, okay. So when he's in, you can cool. expect him to fish for DPs into high damage. Excellent. Okay. I've definitely not seen as much of uh, Team Orochi or uh, Samurai. All right. And we're going into <laughs> it. Definitely just seeing Matenkin on point, but I guess, you know, Kula just, <laughs> just as strong for sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I know with Zendo, he likes to play Maiten with the meter. Gotcha. All right, playing slow so far. Okay. 
do great work in that corner. Ooh. Tough. Plas <laughs> Classic Kula. Two yeah. teams that you have to to. Tough, tough. Big reward. Ooh, good bait. Oh, I got away with it. Yeah, got away with it. Love it. <laughs> yeah, for Iori, his light DP has deceptively fast recovery, so yeah, a lot of times you need to use lights to uh, properly punish it. Does it have full body uh, invincibility, the it, light DP? It does, but it's very short. It tends to trade. Gotcha. Spends the meter on a guard cancel. He wants the round. Nice throw. Ooh, she Ooh. gets away. Kula with very similar DP properties. A yeah. very fast DP, so it's hard to punish if you're not ready. Solid stuff from Zendo, willing to bet it on a couple DPs, and yeah, got the space. And I believe Ochris is a pretty rare character, so let's see how prepared Zendo is for the matchup. Guess he'll be up against his owner next. Hmm. Alright, kids are doing a good job pushing yeah. you into the corner immediately. Ooh, nice DP. Yeah, Zendo ready for the reset and pressure. That was a rough guard cancel. Oh, and Kizzer wasn't ready. If you block that move specifically, that's a punish every time. Ah, okay. Seems like they're, you know. Nice bait. Good bait on the DP. Yeah. They should be dead. Exactly. And that's a new super, huh? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> And Zendo in a bad spot right now. Kids are sitting on almost half life and a lot of meter. You know he's looking for the jump just to cash out. Yeah. It seems like he's still trying to get a feel for Chris too. But that should be dead. All right, pretty much even with uh, Kither with a slight meter advantage. Exactly. Ooh, ooh, good hop over yeah, the fireball. Yeah, good call out <laughs> on the fireball. <laughs> Absolutely. Will he cash out here? Nope. Choosing to save it. Choosing to get meter, uh, corner advantage. Ooh. And Zendo just keeping him in the corner, yeah. not letting him get out. Oh, nice. I was going to say, it's, it's just a matter of time until the command grab comes out. Messed up the confirm on it, it though. Nice reaction. Good to throw, throw, yeah. Getting Kizzer down is, to it. Kids is ready for a lot of the Shermie gimmicks. Punishing a lot of uh, unsafe jumps. Ooh, not that one. Yeah, caught by the cross up. Oh, that's Ooh, and that it. should be game. Nice. Very scrambly first game. A lot, both of them got a lot of random hits, but they weren't able to capitalize on them. Yeah. It's a lot of, you know, trades and neutral. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's like they never found any big hits. They just kept getting a lot of random one-off hits. Exactly that. And it seems if Zendo makes any changes. Yeah, it seemed like Chris really uh, changed the momentum of that one. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think it might be a character knowledge thing because... Especially with the O uh, Orochi characters, Chris, he was used a lot the first week, but he pretty much fell off completely after that. Hmm. Right back at it, though, same order. Kids are taking some risky jumps early. He put himself in the corner. <laughs> Good block on the cross-up CD. Ooh, 
Ooh, challenged and got it. Yep, the classic 2B YOLO race then. <laughs> If Yori gets a clean hit, he'll get it, but... Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, and that should be dead right there. Exactly. All right. Zendo takes the point war this time. Zendo doing a good job of just abusing a lot of Kula's basic tools, especially, <laughs> like, the 2B. I know it's, it's very simple, but it's a very annoying tool to deal with. Absolutely. But last match, pretty much how Okris carried the team, so let's see if he can do it again. Holy stop. Got the corner here. Ooh, nice time. overhead. Evens it up, but he's also got a good, nice meter lead. No, exactly. So it was good he was able to end that without having to spend resources. All right, Mighty Team coming in. Ooh. Definitely Zendo's best character. Oh, I'm sure he wanted something different there. But. Let's see. Is Zendo going for the big risk, not paying off? Oh, oh nice. he spent it all. 100% getting the character out of there. Excellent. And 100%, I think that's a really smart decision. He spends all his meter, but now Anchor's coming in. Uh, he has plenty of chances to build more meter, and he's putting all the pressure on Zendo to make a comeback. Absolutely. That was a really cool max inversion, too. Not every character, I think, can do a mid-combo like that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Good confirm by Zendo. Is he going to cash out? Level 2, yeah. Oh, makes sense. All right. 50-50. Oh. Man. Yeah, Chris really Zendo. doing some lifting here. But Zendo was really ready to stop uh, Chris from doing resets and pressure. Uh. I think right now, Kizuru oh, needs to realize chance. the clock and just lay off. Ooh, jumped into that one. See, it's situations like that where a lot of players, they need to start looking at the clock because... Pretty much at 29 seconds, the amount of life they get is a lot less than what you would get at 30 seconds. Gotcha. So what Kither should have done right there is just back off and drain the clock for a bit. Just turtle a little bit to the uh, oh, exactly. keep that lead. But yeah, you know. Kither's still in a really good spot, though. Yeah, exactly. A max cancel or confirm will definitely do it. Woo! And nice the command grab. Classic. Excellent. And Kither takes it 2-0. Solid play, solid play all around. Do we have a uh, Mooney and Jamie now? Yep. I, well, I think we're, yeah. I think we're going back to that one. Okay then. Um, I think I also have to go and check on my Street Fighter pool. Yeah. Forgive me for a moment. <laughs> That's no problem. Looks like I'm manning it by myself. everybody's enjoying the show uh, tonight we're going down to KOF top 8 and we'll be back tomorrow at 12 I think right now we're reaching the point where I believe we should be getting to uh, top 8 uh, qualifiers either we're there now or we're close got my man Pat Marvel God What's good, man? How you doing, Pat? How's uh, your KOF bracket go? Um, there's a reason I'm here on commentary. It's because <laughs> I'm in the spectator bracket. I'm still in. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's what's up. But uh, we got two Chicago legends oh, coming shoot. up. Jamie is, and is this uh, Jaime Mooney Blues. Yeah. And Tony. This shit's going to be crazy. Are you kidding me, dude? I'm... Uh, Kind of wondering what what teams we're gonna see here. I haven't uh, seen oh, these guys playing a little bit, so Jamie, we got the new samurai characters, right? Oh, the definitely raid? no. <laughs> uh, Jamie is a tier enthusiast. He's okay, rocking the Cronin. Smart. Yeah, I know he had the Cronin day one, Cronin, so he, yes. he's got to be thriving these days, man. 
Mooney slowly converting to a tier enthusiast. I believe uh, he started <laughs> using Chizuru. Smart, very smart. I appreciate it. I'm not sure if he's on the Cronin train yet. I know Jaime's got the. Uh, he's got a rock as well. He's got. Did he play Yori? Yori and like Terry or something like that. Oh know. yeah, he's. Or Kyo. He's a tier enthusiast. He's got. He's, he's got a lot of good good characters there. Characters that are uh, pretty nice right now. He's been moving around to the good characters. Okay. Yep. Yash coming in. Yeah, I feel like uh, Mooney Blues, the signature character is the Isla. It's like oh, Isla and then, and then the meta. Isla is a very big knowledge set character, so let's see if Jamie's familiar with a lot of the gimmicks. Okay, I like it. The Yashiro. Oh, Isla on Anger Man is confident in, in his character. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about that matchup. Isla is very reliant on going for a lot of jump mix-ups, and that's kind of yeah, playing into Cronin's yeah, yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to think about the anchor matchups. But Chizuru, another big knowledge check character. Let's see how familiar okay, Jamie yeah. is with the and we got And we got regular Yashiro on both sides. Vanilla Yash. He's good. <laughs> Can't hate on it, man. Oh, you reading Twitch yet? Who's all in the chat? Shout out to Growlix. <laughs> Shout out to Noah. Yo, is NCV there? Comment if you want a shout out. Uh. <laughs> and here the game go. Oh, okay. Starting and definitely game. from Mooney, we're going to be seeing a lot of stand CDs. Let's see if Jaime knows how to deal with yeah, them. Yeah, it's good. And there we go. Good cross up. Okay, yep. That, and Mooney that was like was two seconds. Yeah, <laughs> a commanding first game. That was like. Let's see if Jaime can make right some there. adjustments. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. Yeah, he's got he's got to look out for the mirages, right? Is this the real me or is this the fake me? <laughs> Good with the crouch C. Ooh. One of the fastest anti here. Uh, let's go. How much far does he have? I think this. Oh, he missed he missed the break. He's just saved the meter. Okay, and he's good, he's good, he's good. Definitely a smart decision. Pretty much going into the next character at almost even now. I like I like that honey mustard uh, Yashiro. <laughs> the Dijon mustard uh, <laughs> Yash. Dijon. <laughs> okay. Good throw. Lock your dome. The pressure, oh my god. Yes, tosses man. Uh let's go. And the safe jump. Rock mix Give up. me the safe jump. Oh, Ooh. get the throw. And I like this. Uh Jaime is conditioning Mooney for the command throw early. Let's see if he <laughs> yeah. starts going low. Yeah, he's going for it, yeah. At the start. Definitely Mooney's best character, though. That's his, that's his signature character. Pretty much Iori, but with a good taco kick. <laughs> oh, out. he punishes it. Very good. The far, he was in far C range. Goes for the safe jump. Oh, we're doing with that. With awareness on the counter hit. We're doing that safe jump. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Get him with it three times. <laughs> It'll hit eventually. But you know who Jaime has on anchor? You got that boy. It's that boy with the goggles, dude. That blue hair and the fucking scarf. Oh, excellent guard cancel. Yeah, definitely catching uh, Jaime being predictable this is a safe on the jump. block thing. Yep. Respects it. Oh, get thrown. Throw, to, throw down the paint. Still, Cronin is just one hit away from tying it up. Is that? Oh, he misses the confirm. Yeah, I was like, I was like is this that? This is the that, second one too. No. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is a heartbreaker. Yeah. I may won that twice. That Let's was punishable, wasn't it? Yes. No, both. He Not hit him twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Money Blues up one. I mean, he was right there in the building, so it's like. Good first game, though. Let's, hard to, let's uh, clean that yeah. play up, though. Hard to say what was wrong. Just, just, just complete on the plan. The plan was there. 
And this matchup was a complete wash first game. Let's see if Jaime can make yeah. some adjustments. If he, if he can do something with his Yashiro, that, that could change it up. Jaime getting it started. Okay, good, ch good chunk of damage right there. But you, you know Mooney Blues is familiar with some Yashiro. He plays oh, exactly. Too, he got so. his second. Good chase yeah. down. All right. Uh, I don't think Jaime knows he can punish the clones. He needs to start sticking normals out there. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, no. The classic Yash ran to 2C. <laughs> The Shatter Strike, minus 10, no punish. That's a DP. <laughs> Get that out of here. All right, there you go. <laughs> and a much better beginning. Yeah, this could this could change the outcome. Because we got uh, Jaime is up. And a Rock immediately coming in. Moody Blue's doing a good oh. job not to spend resources. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you got a Yashiro. But the boy Rock coming in. That's that boy. We got the mustard and ketchup matchup. This is a historical battle right now. Oh, uh, flip on him. He didn't go low. Oh, oh no, super. never mind. Spend it all. Okay. Man, <laughs> that far C just really carrying him right now. It's great. It's a good button. I would uh, opt to press it. Mooney not respecting the pressure. He's just trying to swing at him. <laughs> I, I understand it's Yash. I would I would be swinging all the time also. But Mooney Blues down to his anchor with a really healthy rock right here, a perfectly healthy rock in fact. All right. Good. Ooh, bust see. it out again. No conditioning going on here. Just going for the command grab every time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it works. It works. The day one gimmick. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh, unfortunate. Mooney crosses himself up on that. CD, knockdown, what's the setup? And uh, once again, get, oh. Oh, he jumps it this time, okay. <laughs> when he finally landed on his left. <laughs> He's like, I seen that one. Uh, 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 we All got right, the throw, throw the paint, something. Oh, the DP, yeah, very and ambitious. We are, this is a lot of spaghetti right now, but. <laughs> and Mooney, the 29, man, he, no, he exactly. doesn't get as much health. If you guys don't know, 30 seconds is a very big cutoff in health regeneration. Mooney's actually not in a bad spot right now. Has the massive meter advantage, so he'll pretty much win in two hits. He just has to not jump. Oh, this could. How much is he? Is he going to cash much it is, out? How, safe, oh, he's just going to take a safe jump. Oh, oh that's got to. Is that going to be game? Any level two there? He just going to take a safe jump again? Oh. I'm not sure what happened there. All right. He's got to be really careful, but this is uh, this is anybody's game right here. Pro oh, oh no! you got it. You got it, Jaime. <laughs> there you go. Okay. <laughs> one to one. To yeah, one. Jaime. Jaime, <laughs> he got lucky right there. <laughs> the full jump, no cross up. You got it. I respect it though. Selectors. Rock the same teams. Nothing will stop this show. All right, then, and right now, uh, Mooney's Isla really carrying a lot of the load right now. His Yash hasn't been doing much. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. So yeah, his Yash is like tying it up. His uh, Chizuru did did crazy work in game one, and kind of got bodied in game two. Ready? So I guess we'll see. I think the, I think the point matchup kind of uh, kind of defining how it goes. Yeah, exactly. I think Mooney it's, needs it's to start respecting teammate pressure and just blocking more. I'm mean, doing a good job to challenge after the clone. All right, Yasha's turn. All right. Fortunate side switch for Mooney. And again, Mooney swinging while blocking. He needs to just respect. Yeah, that blocking. setup. That setup is grimy right there. <laughs> oh, good throw. 
Okay, he's going to get some health back, too. But I think Tony's sitting pretty pretty good right now. He is, but uh, Jaime's well, rock has been carrying him. That is true. That set. is true. His rock usually doing a massive amount of work. Okay. We got the DP. We got the throw. Oh, just Went out of range. Again. Just out of range. But yeah, that has been that has been doing so much work in this. I know. That oh, decides Commandra. not to cash it out. Let's see if you regret that. Oh, and Jaime. Oh, that's I confirmed. Did that cross up? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it hit. <laughs> we're not sure matter. where Rock's going here. And now we're we're pretty much tied up. All right, back to ketchup and mustard. Out of range again. And Jaime is just really living and dying by that command <laughs> grab right now. He just doesn't care. He's like, oh, you're by me? Catch this command grab. Is he going to finally go low? Oh, All right. <laughs> Good block. Look we'll at those big buttons. Ooh, calling out Mooney's uh -huh. pressure. Yeah, spend it all. Just get him out of there. Take the lead. Yeah, 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 exactly. All right. Mooney's back against the wall. If so, you can kill a character, spend all spend all the butter. Why not? Still full stock. Mooney has a lot of resources to play with. And every that Shatter Strike has hit so far. <laughs> oh. Both of them oh, love rough. hidden buttons. Yeah, with with four six of butter, you got to be ready for the guard cancels. You got to have. And Mooney just trying to spend it all. Well, you get you get the setup here. Oh shoot, we're doing this. Ooh, that was, that was cute. Nice combo. Oh, and we're we're, we're tied pretty up. much tied we're up. Tied yeah, up. yeah, he's gonna get his health back. We got Lord Cron and Rizzizla. He slid a, at a bar and a half. Cron at a two and a half. Just gotta be careful with the jumps. In case you're not familiar, this man Cronin, he's uh he's pretty good at anti airs. And an excellent shimmy by Mooney, calling out that 2A. That's all of his bar. Drops the combo. Oh, it's Cronin time. <laughs> you got to be scared of this guy, man. He's Ow. right at that oh. three and a half bar threshold. Exactly where Cronin wants to be. Oh, Calls out that. the DP, and it's over. Yeah, that's 2-1 Mooney. Very Very close close that was, that was, a, good, that was a good set. Yeah, that was good. That was close. Very close set. Was that to qualify for top eight, or was that the one right before? Um, I have no idea. Is that the bracket <laughs> over there? I can't tell. It's not filled out, oh, okay. so we'll get there when we get there. All right. Um. Oh, okay, then. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right. Oh, true. That's right. That's right. Top eight is tomorrow. Yep, we're getting to top eight tonight. Also, yes. Guys. Tune in tomorrow. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, 12, 12 o'clock, right? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I got, I got smoked. So. Yep, there twelve o'clock. And uh, do we know who's coming up next? Coming up to the ring. Do you guys see the ring? Are you kidding me? There's a whole ring. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, El Pro Mesa and Ragnall. Okay. Coming up next. And guys, be sure to visit uh, visit the match arena. Uh, support the players. Support the community. I'm sure we have some uh, sponsor codes or whatever. <laughs> Make sure to prom prompt those in. We got I'm stuff, not sure how that stuff works. to do. Who is in the chat? This is the tiniest text I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Xanadu for DLC, please. I agree. <laughs> nah, leave him out of KOF for the remainder of it. We never need to see Xanadu come back. Yeah, you know what? That's kind of true. Xanadu, ban nah, no more Xanadu. You, you switch me. That character's ass. Um, getting set up here. Um, oh, shout outs to JoJo in the chat. 
<laughs> we got El Promesa. Uh, I'm not sure what characters he's playing now. Uh, I know he tends to bounce around with a lot of characters. Mm -hmm. Let's see who he picks. We're pointing at screens. I'm pointing at the screen. There you go. Join in on the fun, everybody. Um, I think we got a button check. You say he's bouncing around characters. Who uh, does he have? Like a mainstay, like maybe a signature character. I know he's a rock enthusiast. Okay. That's that's. I'm pretty sure that's one of his mainstays. Not a bad pick. I know he's a more old school KOF player, so okay. They tend to play a lot of characters. Old school, you know, gotta have the Yori in the in the key. No, exactly. So you. you <laughs> He just automatically assumed. Yeah, he assume. had a king or an Athena or something. <laughs> he played yeah. Viori. Yeah. He played Kyo. <laughs> Not bad picks. Not bad picks at all. Okay, looks like we're. Uh, He's busting out the Like the buttons are checked. Man, the goose is loose. Look at my man with the suit. Are you kidding me? This is a team. All right, I'm on board. I'm with it. El Promesa converting. I like these teams. And Ragno playing the old meta. We're still believing it. We're it. believing in the Terry. Sometimes that's just your man. Terry was heavily nerfed, but he is still playable. He's still got the early. damage. If it, that man touches you. <laughs> and <laughs> very strong block strings. Uh, before hurt. you know it, he <laughs> can put you in a lot of guard crush situations if you're not careful. But I will say Cronin is probably one of the characters you don't want to be putting in long blocks <laughs> All right, round Getting start. Getting started off with the, with the geese. Man is, man is dressed to impress. He's got the purple suit. And Geese, probably one of the more rare uh, DLC characters. Uh, not strong, but still a pretty average character. Pretty workable. Yeah. I got to say, I don't see him on point very often. Uh, okay. With the jab, so you know it's a safe jump. Start with the DPs. Ooh. Yes, sir. Confirm. Are we doing a are we doing a super? Oh, decides to cast out. And that's all his meter, so. Oh, doesn't walk back. <laughs> Gotta sure. walk back on those crouch lights, man. And not sure if Ragnar was trying to call out a back row. Oh, maybe. What, yeah, that could be it. Oh, we're going for the overhead. El Promesa's geese. Pulling out of work right now. Yeah. Doing a lot of work. Yep, and El Promesa playing it slow right now. He doesn't really need to make anything happen. Yeah, he's already up. He just needs to take whatever he can take. Oh, no. Oh, crosses himself up. Unfortunate, but. He's still good. <laughs> It's still fine, dude. You're already up. You're getting a little sloppy right House now. House money, it's, it's fine. Oh. Bagnell yeah. not ready for the geese. He got his Terry, but Romesa has such a lead, and it's Terry with only not just, even two just bars. Just kind of coming up to two bars, yeah. Yeah, Terry's climbing a mountain right now, but if he can at least end this without spending any resources, it can happen. Yeah, you can just play small, just get his pokes, just get his anti airs. There it is. Probably gonna be back up to full health. Now sitting at two and a half, it's looking a lot more workable. Oh, for Mesa got his rock. Jump CD to classic. Huh? Good confirm. It's gonna hurt. Safe jump. Oh, we're doing a super. Go 
Oh uh, yeah, he's inspired by Jaime looking for that command grab right there. Yeah. Promesa just really oh, rushing he's down looking, Ragnar. He's looking for the cross-up jump Bs. Oh, really good confirm. Good counter hit. Counter confirm. hit confirm was excellent. Oh, Promesa right there. ready on that one. That was great. That was excellent. We'll see if Ragnall can make some adjustments going into round two. He was really struggling against El Pro Mesa's geese, so let's see if he... Yeah, the goose was loose for sure <laughs> in that one. <laughs> Look at how... <laughs> <laughs> Look at how well-dressed this man is. I was about to say, oh, both of them... We got the counter. Both these characters come to the fight very fast. Yeah, they got, they got some drips. Oh... Oh, very unfortunate. This is the uh, confirmation. It's but he's confirm. still, like, his pressure is, like... Yeah, he's still in a good position, even though he missed the confirm. Yeah, he's good. This might be a perfect round. Ooh, he got it. i got to say, the point Geese is doing so much work for him. It's just putting him in, in such a good position for these games. Yeah, Ragnos is going to really need to find some answers against this Geese. All right, here we go. It's a good start. Get some corner pressure going, and again getting just yeah, caught on out wake of up his pressure. Throw. Yeah, just got to be out of range for those meaties. Uh, uh. Okay. Immediately answers back with this combo. We've yeah. seen we've seen El Mesa get a lot of these overheads off too. Ragnos He's really having trouble uh, when he gets a knockdown on Geese. It seems like El Mesa is just kind of disrespecting his pressure. A lot. <laughs> yeah, he's just kind of running this stuff. All right, let's see if Ragnos can at least forget the down out. Mesa. Oh, okay. A slightly better spot than last game at least. At least Ragnos was able to get out his Geese yeah. with his Yori. This is a this is a half a bar combo that Brock needs now, or even a meterless at this point. He's got to be careful about those those repukins. He doesn't want to eat a full jump in. Cause it, yeah, I get the grab. And that's that. Good use of half a bar to close out the match. And it's Terry again. He's dangerous, but uh, he's got to get the hit. Yeah, D Terry really climbing a mountain again, having to make a comeback with only two meters. Uh, and there goes half his health bar. <laughs> okay, a good start. Let's see the pressure. And, ooh. Oh, calls it out. Oh. Wait, this is what, yeah, all right. The oh. classic rock going for command grab and getting a uh, DP. <laughs> and he takes it anyways. Yep, he closes it out. All right, young Brightside is hopping off. I guess I'm doing a doing a solo for now, but it's all good. Oh, we, we got we got a new commentator. All right, yeah. <laughs> What's your name, man? Oxy acetylene is my tag. You can just call me Oxy. Oxy? From St. All Louis. Right. All right, I'm, I'm wearing the St. Yeah. Louis flag on my back. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Cool, man. How you been enjoying these uh, KOF matches? It's been great. I love to see, uh, especially early on. I was well, I was uh, one of the commentators early on. Yeah. All of the innovative teams you see, like I saw <laughs> someone playing both boss characters. You know, Geese and Rigal. Sometimes you, uh, sometimes you gotta <laughs> do it, man. I, um, you know, I'm glad to see more Rock because I've heard yeah. Rock's good for so long, but I haven't seen much of him myself. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's a bunch of people playing around here, so. Of course. You'll, I, def uh, <laughs> you'll definitely see him in Chicago. Coming from St. Louis, we have like a rock player. That's all we got. <laughs> yeah. uh, I play Ash and both Yashiros, you know? Oh, that's fun. Yeah. And uh, I also love to see uh, the fact that people are actually using Yori around here. Oh, I've yeah, for sure. I've seen like three oh, yeah, people yeah. use Yori. 
and I never see that anywhere else. <laughs> There's like one Iori player back home. I mean, if, if somebody's an old school player, they got an Iori. Even if, even if he's not on the main team, they they have him in the back pocket. And I, I am of the opinion that everyone can everyone can appreciate a good Iori. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. I especially love I especially love seeing like. Ragnell there playing uh, the <laughs> the three protagonist team or no it wasn't Ragnell it was another guy my bad yeah someone's playing Yori and Terry there yeah um, <laughs> with the with the Robert <laughs> uh, and I I'm of the opinion that Rob, Robert's a little underrated too like he's got some crazy long normals a lot of people underrate that yeah 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 for sure it's like He's pretty highly regarded, like a patch ago, and it feels yeah. like uh, it feels like he he kind of fell out of favor. Kinda, and nothing people kind of jumped off the boat. Yeah, he's still well, solid though. I think everyone's yeah. looking at Cronin like it's just like the good stuff is too much <laughs> higher than him now. <laughs> Next up should be Mooney Blues versus Iris Scene. Is that who we got? Yep, it's the uh, one on top there. <laughs> so Mooney Blues versus Iris Scene. Uh, make sure to check out our match arena. Uh, we've got. Quite a few different games on there, and uh, I'm sure we got some codes left. Make sure you're using them. For sure, get on that Matcherino, man. Are you kidding me? It's Make right sure there. you're using that Matcherino. Those codes, free money. Throw it in. Make sure you're uh, jumping in there, claiming that code. Come on back here to watch some more matches. You got a second. Looks like we got we players got coming up here. <laughs> We got Young Dostro, top contributor right now, the local legend. You got to outbid him, man. And thank you for hitting that up. <laughs> Do we have uh, some people coming up in the ring? I guess. Yeah, they're finally <laughs> coming up. Who? Oh, hello? We got yeah, blacked out there. That was a little weird. Should be good. Looks like we uh, got some people sitting down. Oh, over here on Strive, we got Adventure. He's my guy. We're both from St. Louis. I, th I, th I got this flag on my back, right? Uh huh. I throw it up behind him for Strive. <laughs> and uh, Elvin Shadow came up behind me. He was like, "Hey, what is that flag? I don't know." And I was like, "Oh yeah, it's just the flag of St. Louis." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was looking up city flags not that long ago, but like. Yeah. I think St. Louis has a great flag. Like Chicago and St. Louis, they got Chicago's great flags. Chicago's got a good, they incorporate it into the frosty foul scenes, like yeah, shirts, you know? They do sick. like the stars and then the top of it is like the buildings. They and it's, it's really cool. They do a good job with it. Also, uh, where are you from? Are you from Chicago? I'm from Chicago. Okay, yeah. cool. I'm always, I've, I saw someone earlier that was from like Cedar Rapids, Michigan. Uh, I know a few people came out here from Minnesota too. Oh, cool. Uh, we got a car of like six people for St. Louis. <laughs> uh, fortunately, we split that up, so you know it wasn't too crowded. Okay, cool. Yeah, I remember St. Louis would come out for Marvel all the time. Uh, up here for Marvel Infinite, yeah. No, Marvel, Marvel 3. Three too. Yeah. Uh, I'm not talking about it. Let's not say the I word. Honestly. Hey, it's not. It's not a curse word anymore. It is curse. You know that game's no, all right. No, it isn't. Um, but we're talking about KOF, a good game. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is the only good game left. KOF's the only good game left. There's, all right? other, there's plenty of other good games. <laughs> well, shoot, we got we got Young Tony on the stream. Really? Uh, got Yuri too. Personally, I'm a big fan of seeing Yuri up there. Her uh, command grab game is surprisingly strong. I I it have is to very good. every single time. It's a great move. And Chizuru, oh my god, goes right in for that cross-up. Yeah, we saw Mooney Blues doing a lot of work with this Chizuru on stream already. Really safe pressure from that Chizuru, too. Like, what do you do against that? As Yashiro, all you, you can do is hope they don't throw out a low. Just gotta guess. <laughs> At least Yashiro's out now. Yashiro has to play really safe here. He has to use his Taras. He has to stay back a little bit to actually poke Chizuru out. Problem is, that's just Oh, hard. that's plus on whiff. <laughs> you never know when the follow-up's coming out or if it is or not. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. 
got the Kyo. Kyo, I think, might have a better matchup here because he can throw out that armored uh, Rekka there and hope it goes through whatever Chizuru shows up. Good low. Okay. Knockdown. That's some great low confirm. Oh, okay. Absolutely just smashing him into that wall. Do not leave. That Charges was a good DP, with too. The DP. Yes, sir. Very smart to wait on that DP. Oh, right through it? He I was, was ready you. for it. He was ready for it. I was telling you, You're that, all right. that's what will bring this matchup back for them. They need that armor on that Rekka. Again, that mustard Yashiro. <laughs> Why do people use this color? Uh, this is, this Tony is just color. like mustard, I don't know. <laughs> And we've got the anchor Yuri. Anchor Yuri. She can do some pretty hefty damage out of nowhere. So you gotta, you gotta be careful. You gotta take risks in neutral to get that fireball yeah. out. Unfortunately, her jump arcs are so scary too. Like you think, like you're out of range. It's like nah. You yeah. got it. Those are that's the scariest cross up in the game. That shit is crazy. What are you gonna do when you're playing against Yashiro like that? You, you, I guess you just have to block right. You know, guess right. It'll look like it's crossing up. You block cross up and it hits same side. It makes no sense. It just hits the opposite side that you think it will. Guard cancel. I do not want to sit still there. Mooney Blues is doing a really great job at just keeping him, keeping him from actually coming in very hard. And yeah, Ooh. he's he, he's he's keeping it solid because he is he knows he's up right here. He's got another character on deck. Yeah, Irasin is so really he, trying to conserve yeah, that. Yeah, he see. doesn't. Yeah, that was Irasin has to, has to <laughs> has to overextend here. They're making smart use of that guard cancel, though. Go in when you think they're going to do a long string. There you go. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tony knew he was up. He wasn't taking any risks. He was just playing it solid. Okay, so just to be clear, Mooney Blues is Tony, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, should, I should stick to the player uh, tags. I, I'm, not, I'm not complaining. I'm just <laughs> like, I don't know who Tony is. <laughs> I'm sorry. My bad. Yeah. We only got two KOF players coming out from St. Louis. Ooh, I like seeing the, the risk taking on the Chizuru in order to keep that Yashiro out there. It's a confirmed good chunk of damage right there, pressure. And now you keep it safe. You keep it safe, you keep it clean. You got that life lead. Overheads. Yeah, the Chizuru is cooking right now. Irisina just not finding the right reversal for this situation. Yeah. This is uh, it's gonna be tough to do now. She's through with full health, almost a bar. I'm telling you, he probably should have gone to order select here for that Kyo match up there. Oh, way better DP, than but not a big punish. Finds a throw. I think uh, Booty Blues has a read here. And now he can't do anything. He's locked down. What you got? You got nothing, because you're blue. <laughs> that was a smart shatter strike. I'm shocked that worked. Oh, no pickup. Oh, no. Oh, you're going to DP here? What are you doing? I'm saying, bully your way yeah, in with that Rekka. That's what you need to do. This is really one-sided now. And he's going to get some health back. Irasin at least has some, has some bars to work with. Yuri has three meter. That's quite a bit. Yes. That and could. She does some good damage too. Look at that. That's, that's oh, like the DPs are just, just so risky here. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Takes out the Chizuru. Gonna get some health back. Still a good amount and of. Now meter. we get to see a different matchup here. We get Yuri versus Yashiro. Again, Yuri's still sitting on a lot of meter here. Oh, shoot. You to see that. They just wasted half a meter, and they got hit for it. Oh, and Yashiro has great setups after his knockdown. Okay. Almost found the way out with Yuri. Might need to take a risk or two here. Finds the CD. It's super. It closes it out. Good stuff on Mooney Blues. All right. Mooney Blues 2-0.
Yeah, I know. I know top players. I, I know. I'm the Tony, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> the <copy laughs> but yeah, that last game, it was all about the point war. The Chizuru did a lot of work, and that just put him in a really good position to Absolutely. take the game. That Chizuru is so safe. He just sits there, and he's, he's pushing him in. He's pushing him in the corner. Can't touch me. All of a sudden throws in a low. What are you going to do? Just going to get hit, I guess. Yeah. I absolutely uh, – I, I just don't understand why Chizuru is so strong until I see that. It's like, oh, my God. How, yeah. do, I, how do I punish <laughs> this? How do I do anything to this? Probably the rarest, like, top-ish tier character, yeah. Chizuru. So I don't think anyone actually the, understands how to play her. A lot of people are not really ready for it. I certainly was not ready for that matchup. <laughs> I had to play it earlier. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then, uh, do we know who's coming up next? Let's go, Tony. Are By the way, uh, Tony is, is Mooney Blues. I can use his first name because we're tight like that. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Top players, Classic. but it's not a big deal to me, lol. <laughs> it's no big deal. <laughs> All right, we got uh, James Jr. We versus have, Yuba. We have James coming up. And then, uh,. You know what? I swear I saw this matchup earlier. This might be a run back. I swear I saw it earlier, like way earlier in the bracket. Because I was commentating way earlier, right? Okay. Uh, I saw very similar names, but maybe they weren't actually playing each other. I think that was a different match. Right. Okay. It was Brandwin, my bad. Close enough. That's fine. I forgive you <laughs> for that mistake. They're doing really good, though. <laughs> like... I, I believe I had to play against uh, Branwin, and then uh, Yuba played against Branwin and beat him. I'm scared of Yuba, honestly. I would not yeah. want to be the one playing against him. So I'm excited for this match because I don't know who James is going to play. Like, uh, I wonder if he's going to play the Team Sam show or if he's going to yeah, play I did, the I uh, did the see Halmaru earlier. I did I, see Halmaru earlier. I saw some Halmaru some on people's teams. I'm, I'm trying to see the whole yeah. Samurai team. I'm trying to see I all I get of that. It. Having played a little Darley, I'm not sure if she's good. Having played a little <laughs> Nakaruru, she takes some work. She takes <laughs> some work. She's probably good. She takes uh, some work, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to these teams. I, I'm, I'm not familiar with Yuba. So. All right. And this is our second to last match before we uh, head to top eight. And I believe top eight is tomorrow? Oh, we only have a uh, couple more matches. Again, we're just whittling this down to top eight. So we're going right. to see who's going to qualify. These are the top eight qualifiers, huh? Oh, we're doing the Yashiro. Okay. James is, Danny, James is playing Conan. for real. Conan. This is how you Dan know you're in top eight. <laughs> Let's go. This is how you know you're in top eight. You see teams like this. The only character who here who isn't top tier is Shermy. <laughs> These are saying, come on, she's still really good. <laughs> These are some excellent teams. This is what I like to see. Yeah, B. Jeanette is just going to skip neutral this whole time. Let's, let's see some, <laughs> some teams, man. I'm telling you. Nothing will stop this show. It's about to be a party up in here. I guarantee you this is going to be a crazy match. Because yeah. Cooler and B. Jeanette, that is, uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen there. These are some characters. We got James the Jr. rocking the Cooler. Cooler actually covers B. Jeanette's, like, aerial ranges really well. Whoa. Okay. That was Challenges a late break. The DP. Get off. Get your hands off of me. Uh, uh uh. Killed more meter than you actually use here. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely clean. Love that cooler play. And then you hit half a bar for 250. Yeah, absolutely. It. It's oh. only 350. With the close C. Top CD. You was out here putting up a fight though. Yeah, Cooler really beat. does cover that range for Bijanet. Bijanet wants to skip neutral so bad, but Cooler can just throw out that DP if she sees her going to the air. Oh. 
really good answer. With the ice breath. Very good move. Cooler's right there. got those super long limbs. Yes, sir. Oh, and we got we got young Betty in the building. Elizabeth might be able to do a bit more work. And again, James is kind of testing him now with these hops, seeing if he can, how good his anti-air game is. Oh, there's that DP they were looking for DP. this whole game so far. Cronin middle. Now we've got we've got the protagonist. Are, are we sure Cronin isn't isn't a mistake there? We've got the protagonist. The protagonist of KOF 15, that's for sure. Yes, sir. Put this man on the box. Oh, Confirm? absolutely. I don't know what he's doing putting him on middle, but that is a a brave decision. He's a great middle. If you're confident in your anchor, he is excellent second. Well, Yashiro is a good enough one, I'm sure. That's got to be it, right? Yeah, he's got it. Got to have super. the meter for it. Yep. We're coming up with uh, a little bit, about about one and a half meter here. This is another free confirm for Cronin. It's going to be rough once you're out of meter here, though. Yuba, Yuba right now fully stopped on these resources. But how's he going to get the party started? James is just hop CD in at him. Throw out a good reversal here. You know, Sherman's got some great reversals. Until you can show that you can beat this hop CD, he's just going to keep doing it. That's right. And he corrects it for the corner. That was insane. Goes for the knockdown there. Okay. Pretty smart. Get some damage on the board, too. You got, you got money to spend. Okay. Can't Hexes jump like hop. that. Yeah, James was hopping. You call her Cronin Light. She just Catch hopped it, yeah. him out of the air <laughs> twice there. Just challenges it, and uh, James wins the first one. Shermery absolutely doing some work there, though. Like, for what it's worth, that is a solid way to get rid of Cronin is just hop, like, make sure he can't hop there. Yeah. And that's what I like to see. For sure, man. Looks like we're getting into game two. Again, Cooler is so scary for BGNet because he covers all those ranges, but BGNet just wants to skip that neutral. Unfortunately, Cooler's going to force her to play it. Okay, Good thro throw. Throws the uh, unsafe pressure. Finding a way in with that DP. Not a bad hit. Game of Chicken there? <laughs> That's my favorite thing in all of fighting games. Look at that Game of Chicken. Oh, the with DP. Waiting for the wake up throw there. There's some damage. Okay. You both shown a little better on this uh, cooler matchup. DP, yes sir. What's the set? Just get, it, cool is so scary at this position when you're in the corner. Absolutely. She's just a character moments. or two away. But Yuba takes it. He's got a lead over James right now. Yuba finding that lead. He needed that whole game. It's Cronin's so scary that this guy is second. <laughs> like, you beat the point character. I, I'm convinced now, actually. I, I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. You could put him here. Sure. Oh. What am I going to do? We're tied up. Unfortunately, that was just not enough damage there. Needed to spend that meter. So I was held back, still sitting at a bar. Liz is, Liz is a pretty scary second, too. Oh, he's drilling. Ooh, yeah, you got to make some call outs for Cronin here. Unfortunately, that was not the one to find. We got text. OK. Huh? We spent a super? No, we're holding on to that bar. Yeah, probably needed it for the next one, I think. You're looking to make sure you kill Ooh. whenever you get the opportunity. Yeah, Shatter Strike with Liz definitely leads to some damage. There's some damage from Liz. Good chunk of tank right there. Get some overheads in there. Don't DP me. Just out of me. range. Yeah. Okay, rolls out of the pressure. Absolutely. And Yuba recognizes that James is rolling. He's going up for run-up throws. 
And very smart. That's some adaptation. I like to see it. Good, uh, yeah, good adaptation. But again, James got his Yashiro on deck. We haven't seen this Yashiro he's got yet. That, he's got that honey mustard Yashiro. Oh, I do not like this color. I'm telling you. Oh, man is swinging. Oh, okay. Like, it was a great cross-up, but didn't confirm. Oh, this could hurt. How much meat oh, are we going to spend? Gonna this is going to kill. We're Yashiro. We're going to kill. No way. Four days. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> you get a forward day after that. <laughs> I forgot. No way. Okay, we got a pretty even match now. There we go. I think there's a little better matchup for Shermie here. Shermie has the ability to kind of go around what Yashiro wants to do here. Absolutely call him out in the air because of the fact that he wants to jump so much too. Yuba not quite enforcing a real mix-up here, finding themselves yeah, back to neutral. Exactly. Yuba's, Yuba's going in, but James is playing it kind of hate. Good block. Ooh, that was a great roll. That block was insane. Oh, shoot. Little bit of spaghetti. Spaghetti all over the floor. Can he kill off of this? Oh, just a little bit too early on that overhead. He gets a throw. Oh, just out of range again. Ooh, oh, finds a hit. That's it. That's a death. James, 2-0. <laughs> 2-0 close, though. <laughs> yeah, 2-0 was that close. That match was good. I want to yeah. see more. I want to see more. It was close. Yeah, it was just r really clutch at the end. I want. I I so want to see more of, of that matchup. That was such a close match. <laughs> please, please. Okay, that was winners' quarters. Okay, yeah, we can we still see another. Uh, we we might see him again tomorrow. You know, I Finn, think I'm I'm I want to see that. One. Come on. That was good. Can we, can we just make this three out of five for that this game? Good. I want to see more. <laughs> Everyone wants three out of five on every game. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, looks come like on. we're looking at. I think it's gonna be El Pro Mesa. Yeah. Against it's Brightside. El Promesa that's and gonna, Brightside. That's going to be our final match for the night. Final match for KOF. Stay yeah, tuned. We KOF. got DBFC yeah, yeah, coming yeah. up afterwards. It's going to be at 9. Uh, depends on how this match goes, of course. It might take a little long. Who, who knows? <laughs> and uh, while we're here, you better check out that match arena. All for right? sure. Get these players paid. They deserve the world here. They're putting on a show for you. Yes, sir. We got one for uh, every main game every here, game. I believe. And make sure you're claiming those codes. I believe you can take out a code per game. So make sure you're getting in there. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, if you want to see uh, people get paid, hit up that match arena. Why are there codes remaining? Claim the codes. You can <laughs> do it by signing into a social media account right here. Any of these are acceptable. All you do is sign in to the match arena and you click claim code. It oh. could not be easier. Okay. You heard it here. No, I appreciate it. <laughs> Y'all better be getting in there and contributing. We got our, we got our people sitting down. We got young Brightside gets El Pro Mesa. Brightside was just commentating with me. Now he's up here in the ring. Make sure you get all your buttons out there. You don't want to press on any buttons you don't want. I did that earlier with Max mode. <laughs> I feel silly. <laughs> you had your buttons wrong? No, I accidentally pressed Max mode when I didn't mean to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't delete the button, so I pressed that Max and I was in there like, oh no. Oh, we got K Dash. So. Right side's just playing, trying to win team. Um, we got some. You know what? K Dash is a little bit slept on. He's a great character right now in this yeah? match, I believe. I I've heard that he uh, he, he was strong in KOF 14, right? And compared to on 14. launch, he was top two. Yeah. He was just obscene because you would just do you would light the flame and that builds meter on whiff, and he would do 65% for like no meter. <laughs> Absolutely. He was a he was. 
something else. He didn't actually change that much from 14, which isn't a bad thing. But right now, he's got uh, his uh, his kick thing is an anywhere juggle. That's kind of like one of the slept down things. And then he has he just has those long limbs, so he can uh, confirm from kind of far away. So he can get he can get three normals outside of throw range, and that's kind of a big deal. We got bright side rocking the rocking the point the point Betty. Are you kidding me? Uh, I mean, if you're con if you're confident, you can do it. I'm sure. Yeah, it's good. I mean, he's got three anchors on his team. <laughs> so, I mean, sure. Uh, I would say cooler is more of a mid, but ooh, I like to see that K dash confirm there. Let like the flame get that pressure started. All right. That's got to be it. Elizabeth's confirms are so clean. If you get the right starter, she's just doing a lot of damage. Now Dude, Geese? Yeah, we got I think some Geese can call out this character. We got some Geese. Oh, Reflect. Back at you. And that's super strong against Geese specifically because he's got a two-hit projectile. You can't just throw out a one-hit and deal with it. Ooh, that stagger. Oh, you do not want to flinch versus that. No time, evening the score. That little twitchy stagger. Yeah. You know, make sure they don't touch anything. You try and throw me, you're dead. Confirm. Yep. Uh, uh. Do the cooler confirm the funny one that real builds oh, more meter than no. it uses? No? Okay. Shadow Strike hasn't hit yet. Catches the roll. Gets the wall bounce. Geese has absolutely crazy corner carry here. Good cross under. Uh uh. Are we spending a super here? That's gotta be it. Oh, absolutely. She does too much damage to not kill uh, her. Yeah. Oh, you don't even need it. Okay. In the corner, you don't need it. If this is out of the corner, she'd need the super there. And here he is. The pink haired Cronin. There's that boy. And you know what? Cooler has a probably a good chance because her normals are so long they're hard to punish. Upro Mesa doesn't have that much meter oh, either. That's pretty huge right there. Hill. No. Oh no. You missed it. That was scary. I wouldn't be pressing buttons there if I were you. Uh, uh, uh. That's gotta be it, right? Uh, uh. You got the super. Yes, sir. Slide right through him. Right side's up. Game one. Yeah, the geese. The geese was pretty scary there, yeah. but the cooler just took it back. Probably rethinking the team just a little bit. Make sure you got everything gonna, in the right yeah. order. He's thinking about a different order, maybe a different team. Yeah, he's thinking about it for sure. Orochi Chris. He's a Chris. I think I saw them playing that earlier over in the early pools. Not a bad character. Okay, they're they're sticking with Cronin. Probably thinking about the third. There we go. We got that we got we're back to two top tiers. That's what we that's what we've been <laughs> seeing the rest of the tournament. Not a bad pick, not a bad pick. El Promesa has some really, really strong pressure, though. It is. It looks like it's so hard to deal with. I would not want to be on the receiving end of that. Yeah. And we're back to the uh, Point Geese, it looks like. Yes, Point Geese has been doing a lot of work tonight. Geese? I, I was surprised to see a lot of people playing Geese here. <laughs> yeah. I, I, no one plays them back home. I think I think this point this point matchup is really going to determine a lot of how this set is going to go. Absolutely, Geese is going to have a hard trouble like reading for parries if he wants them. Of course, Geese doesn't actually need the parries. Geese has such good control. Oh, sure, nice crossover. But the other thing, it, it, 
it really feels like Geese is uh, Promesa's best character. So, a Geese specialist, if, you it, may it, say. If you lose, your, if you lose your best character early on, it's it's not a good look. Okay, pressure. Those lights, all those lows, you're just stuck blocking low. Good, good check with the jab. Checking with the uh, fireball here too. Ooh, a little too scared to actually go in for much. Gets a throw. You don't want to throw. Okay, go. Think of the safest thing you can. That normal He's up looks pretty on, safe. On very low time though, so we'll see how much he gets back. Not a lot. Very little, honestly. And again, we saw Brightside's Kula do a lot of work in the last game. Crazy confirm. That was a little weight into. Ooh, I want to go in. <laughs> Two little trades there, you know. Trade jabs. I'll jab, you jab. It's all good. Oh, up for Mesa. Find the uh, hard knockdown there. Not quite much from the right side. Yeah, with with the with the instant overhead. Very clutch right there. Cause that goose was loose, man. I'm sure Mr. Brightside's got this, alright? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to make the joke. <laughs> Cooler's pretty good into Yashiro too, because you see uh, that that little ice breath thing. It absolutely oh. keeps him from coming at her straight. El Pro Mesa. In the, in no the, problem for him, though. In the building right now. But Bright has got that boy. He's got that boy. Three, six, three and a half, six of butter. <laughs> you jump with this oh, man. They're going, they're going, absolutely they're going 80%. Back from this. Oh. <laughs> Overhead? Overhead? How much, does, how much is he trying to spend? Just get the one bar. Yeah, I, you want to save I the meter agree. here. Oh, <laughs> why, more not? Why, not? More why not? Yeah, more why not? Why not? It's a good ass button. And now we are playing King of Fighters 15. King of Fighters 15. Three, oh. three and a half, six of butter apiece. That man with the goggles. This is the video game. Uh, Looking like my favorite anime, Akira. Oh, oh that's got to be it, right? That conversion was crazy. <laughs> Mr. Brightside taking it home. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's KOF 15. Yeah, so that was our uh, our top eight qualifiers. Looks like we got a uh, Brightside in there. That was winners. That was a winners qualifiers. My bad. So uh, up next should be DBFC. I and it's some, supposed uh, to start at 9. So it'll end at, you know, 4 in the morning. <laughs> well, uh, I, yeah, it might be 1 a.m. again. Yeah, right. <laughs> See, that's what he's saying. So uh, DBFZ. So we're going to run a little late already. We're on tournament standard time. You never know what's going to happen. You already know. That's, that's how it goes. For yeah. what it's worth, I'm glad you all that got some, on that Maturino yeah. there. That was some great King of Fighters. Good King of Fighters. Excellent. And, uh, well, got 115 <laughs> 10 we, so we, far. We got to get out of here. Or do we? Uh, yeah. I mean, I got to get out of here. I want to go to round one. We don't have rounds one in St. Louis. Oh, cool. I'm so jealous. You know, they were going to give us a round one, and they just canceled it. We got we got multiple. <laughs> I'm so jealous. We got, we got round two. It's crazy out here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good games to everyone. I'm glad to see you all out here watching KOF. DBFZ up next. Thank you for watching. Excellent. Yeah, we're out of here. Yeah. I'm and hit up the Maturino, of course. Make sure you hit up the Maturino before tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's top eight. I hope to see you all there again. I'm going to be there for it for sure. <laughs> I got I got Guilty Gear and VSAP tomorrow, man. This event's crazy. Oh, I love you're it. You're playing some VSAP? Yeah. That's what's up. I have my stick here a second ago. It's up there now. <laughs> I, my stick has uh, Zinko on it. Oh, you play Shanko? Yeah. That's tight. My stick's up there. <laughs> All right. All right. That's it, man. Thanks for watching.
Uh, come back tomorrow. DSAV's next. Or uh, DSAV's. Dragon Ball. next. Dragon Ball's next. Dragon Ball fight. Make sure you stick around for that. Make sure you come back tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you later at Roundhouse, all right? Catch you guys next time. Catch you next time.